Welcome to Milan. Today we're getting scammed, so you know what to look out for when you're traveling. And we start off with a friendship bracelet scam, the most common one. Milan is beautiful, home to incredible cathedrals and endless fashion. And it's also home to many scammers trying to take advantage of the visitors to this beautiful city. Watch till the end because you just have to see why this scammer thinks that have angered the good lord himself. Alright, this first scam involves a scammer trying to tie a bracelet around your wrist. They'll insist it's free, but once it's on your wrist they'll start asking for money and potentially even start getting aggressive. More unscrupulous scammers will also use this as an opportunity for their accomplice to relieve you of your belongings while your arm is disabled. This is more common in crowded areas where they can get away quickly. But what better way to show you how this scam works than to get scammed myself? You can see me here walking along while this guy tries to approach me. Nice. Hey. Where are you from? Australia. Ah, David Alaba. Vietnam? Pardon? Where in Austria? Melbourne. Ah, welcome. Is your wife your girlfriend? Why? 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 Nice, eh? <laughs> Time for him to shoot his shot. One for yellow. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's no one for free. It's my brother because you're a playboy. Right. Because Europe, Africa, black and white. <laughs> All right. Look. It's for s**t. Tonight, Yeah, man, I don't have any money. I, I, I know your game, but I don't, I don't have any money, man. Hold up, just a sec. Watch his accomplice here attempt to scam this couple walking. What? I don't no. have any money. No, no, bro. One wife, two wife. <laughs> You're crazy. Only one. Only one. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, little something. I don't have money, man. I'm sorry. Thank you. So soon after, while I'm trying to record them scamming other people, his friend notices and we have to hightail it out of there. But before I show you this next scam and I get scammed again, I wanted to share a bit more about this one and what to do if you're approached. So while this guy was ultra friendly, that might just come down to the fact that I'm a bit more scary than say, a solo female tourist. You'll see why I think this is the case because of what happens during the next scam. But there's also reports of people being followed around or even taken to a bank to pay for this bracelet. So what should you do if you encounter these guys on your trips? Keep walking and just wave them away. You can also give them a polite but a firm no. I said no to this guy twice before letting him engage me once I had the camera set up for the purposes of this video. So it does work, just be firm. And don't engage just for the fun of it. I know I did, but I know where the nearest police are and I'm ready to defend myself if things get real hairy. If it's someone's first day in Italy, you can see why other tourists would be flustered and easily end up capitulating and paying them to leave them alone. Now let's get on to the next scam, but if you love travel tips, hacks, reviews, and more investigatory videos like this, hit subscribe so you can see more videos like this one in the future. Okay, next scam. This one is clever, and it occurs down at the Duomo, which is an incredible cathedral in Milan. So, how does it work? Scammers will walk up to you and either they will offer you bird feed for the pigeons, or force it on your hands, and take photos of you. You'll stress out and tell them that you don't have money, but they assure you it's just 3 euros. But oops, they took 10 photos, so that's 30 euros. So I ask around and get a price of 3 euros for the photo. And then I go back to drop my wallet off with my wife and take 3 euros to the first person who will accept 3 euros for a photo. That's all I've got with me, along with my mic. Let's see what happens. <laughs> all right, all right. Stop. Oh. As expected, he accepts the offer at 3 euros knowing that it will up the price at the end. Uh, also, no problem, of course. All right, all right. Sit down. Sit down. Too many, too many, too many. Grosso, grosso, too many. Sette photo, 20. Sette, sette, 20. Sorry, English? 20. 20. Uh, you said three. Sette photo, one. Bellissimo. One. One. I just want one photo. Very good. Yeah, but you said three. What been? Well, sette photo, okay. Pardon? Sette photo. One photo. Sette, no. I don't understand you. Vieni qua. Seven, bitch. Seven. Seven, okay. Well, I only got, I only got three, three euros and change. Dammi tre euros. Dammi tre. No, mama, no, papa, no, mama, no, papa. No tengo más. Mohamed. This is where my heart sinks. He's called over his friend to confront me. This could get hairy. But first, I need to make all the euros I'm about to lose back with a very quick word from the video sponsor, ExpressVPN. While I've been in Europe, I've wanted to keep watching the shows I already love. And I'm already halfway through on Netflix. 
And to do that, I use ExpressVPN. I just set the country as my home country and I'm using the internet like I do back home, free to watch the shows that I love. Plus, it helps protect your privacy while using hotel, airplane or coffee shop Wi-Fi. And it's a lifesaver when it comes to unblocking sites blocked in the EU. Find out how you can get three months for free at expressvpn.com forward slash Luke Travels. Thanks for checking out ExpressVPN. It lets me do crazy stuff like this. Link in the description. See, that was quick. Okay, back up to the scams. So he goes over to his friend to get a plane and help him try to extract more money out of me. But he sizes me up and he doesn't want any involvement. Defeated, he prints off the photo and gives it to me. So I don't feel like I was scammed, right? Three euros and I got a photo by a guy with a printer. That was not the result I expected. What the hell? Like he did a little song and dance about how it was not enough and, but it wasn't over the top. But I was really clear that I only had three euros. <laughs> so just after filming that bit and off camera, the guy comes over and motions to me, shakes his head in disappointment and just walks off. Am I in the wrong here? Or is he? He agreed to a three euro price, but he thought he could get me to pay up more by saying that it was three euros per photo. But I made it really clear from the start that I only had three euros. I'm actually still a little bit conflicted with this one. I'm curious what you think, so let me know in the comments. Maybe I was the scammer the whole time. After doing this, we go to have lunch, and once we return to film some more scams, he spots me again and does this motion to the heavens and tells me that I'm not good. Oh my gosh, did I really outwit a scammer here? Did I just roll a nat 20 on this scammer? Maybe you can get a 3 euro photo with pigeons, but countless stories of people getting harassed or pickpocketed makes me think of this bad idea and that you shouldn't do it. All right, the next scam is the exchange scam. This scam involves the exchange offices near tourist sites across Europe. I'm going to be converting 100 Australian dollars to euros here. First, we'll do it here at an unbranded exchange office. So 100 Australian dollars is 64.56 euros. Let's see what we get at this exchange here. Hello. How much, um, how many euros would you give for 100 Australian? Normally we pay 40 because it's not just the rate, but also the service charge. Okay, okay. so I get 40. I, normally we pay 40, I can offer you 52 euros and 45 cents. All right, thank you. So normally I'd lose 20 euros just doing this transaction, but here apparently they'll only lose me 10. Ridiculous. Next, we're going to do it at the lowest rated exchange office in Europe, Best and Fast Change. They've been rated 1.1 star on Google reviews with tons of negative reviews like, very bad place. They don't want to give my money back, even if you just changed it right now. These people are thieves. And their transaction fee is 9.9 .9 euros, and their people will not tell you until the transaction finishes, and you cannot ask for your money back. So, let's see what they give us for 50 and 100 Australian dollars. But note, this would apply for US dollars or any other currency. Hello. And what about 100? 48 euros. All right. Thank you. So, for $50, I'd get 24 euros there. Or, for $100, I'd get 48 euros, which is basically $2.10 per euro, not the $1.66 they claim. But you don't normally need cash overseas. You can just use your bank card. MasterCard and Visa work great across Europe and even American Express is accepted at most touristy destinations. So what do you do when you need cash overseas? I can already hear it in the comments. People are saying you should use an ATM. You're all partially correct, but overseas ATMs have a sneaky feature that they use to trick tourists out of as much as 19% of their hard earned cash. And to find out what it is, you'll have to watch this video here so you can avoid it when you travel. So what city would you like to see the scams of next? Let me know. Also, don't forget expressvpn.com forward slash Luke Travels for three months free on a two year plan.